a little bit about Kanye West's church in this segment of RadioTubeTV.com. Make sure to holler at us in the comments. Otherwise, go ahead and enjoy the broadcast at this time. And don't forget to go to our website and also become a subscriber if you already have not. And thank you for watching. G's move in silence so my moves can't be calculated. Run up the check like I'm not... Okay, so I wanted to talk about Kanye West Sunday service. It's, it, it, it isn't exactly a church. Sorry, I was kind of, but it isn't a church, but it is Christian. So we're going to be talking about what we've actually found out upon our research of looking into the Kanye West situation. And we want to go ahead and give a shout out to Refinery29.com and also Corey Steak for creating such a great report on this incident, as well as our contributors to our staff, RadioTubeTV.com. If you are not a member of our website, please go ahead and do so because we definitely want to get you on our site and come and holler at us. Well, let's talk about Kanye West Church. This story was originally published on April 4th. A source told people that Kanye has talked about starting his own church, but it wouldn't be the traditional three hymns and a sermon thing. Kanye's plan would be more of a way to point people to Jesus through the arts and through community of people who love and care for each other, the source said. Kanye apparently spends a lot of time praying and studying his faith. The source said he understands brokenness and the need for healing, probably more than most people, the source told People. He believes in healing powers of music, but also believes that God can step in and heal people's brokenness and their and their issues. So as someone who nicknamed himself Jesus posed as Jesus on the cover of Rolling Stone, titled Tracks I Am God and Jesus Walks and rapped about being close a close high to Jesus. Uh, Kanye West has been outspoken when it comes to faith. So in January, when West and various members of the Kardashian family started posting videos and photos of exclusive Sunday service gathering, many people began wondering, is Kanye starting a religion? Service goers have been pretty cagey about the weekly practice, though it sure appears to be church-like. The service takes place in a zen space and color-changing lights that amplify many people in the choir and band dressed all in white clothes. Clothing. Recently, Sunday service moved outdoors, and Kanye is scheduled to host a Sunday service on Easter at Coachella, which he did. And that at that point in time, we did get to see everything that he did. As Kim and Kanye's daughter is often videotaped dancing and singing along with two gospel music. Her favorite part of the week is dancing during Sunday service, Kim recently tweeted. But beyond the music, it's not really a church, although it was... It has Christian undertones, according to the Kardashian. In a recent interview with Jimmy Kimmel Live, Kim explained that Sunday service is more of a just healing experience than a religious one. There's no praying, there's no sermon, no word, just music and just feeling, and it's Christian, she explained. So it's like a high vibe spiritual Christian concert that's welcoming of celebrities and other musicians such as Katy Perry and, and Busy Phillips. We have so many friends who maybe feel too judgmental when they go to church for something. Khloe Kardashian explained to Jimmy Kimmel Live, when they come here, they feel free and safe and is what everyone said, is what everybody's telling them. So people of all faiths that can participate in the Sunday service, although it's a very spiritual Christian experience, Kim told Elle, everyone that comes understands it's just a really healing experience with an amazing choir and amazing messages about love to start off your week, she said. Now, pivoting to the religion might seem kind of random for the mega famous family of entertainers and business moguls, but the Kardashians have always had a spiritual side. In 2016, Chloe wrote an essay for uh, Lenny Letter explaining uh, her relationship with spirituality and organized faith, and it she described as a spiritual and devout, and explained that her dad would read the Bible every day. So that's cool, you know, to know about the that the uh, grandfather of these grandchildren that he's ne never met, you know, was very spiritual and that actually bled into the lives that they have. Now, it doesn't mean that, you know, Kanye is a preacher or anything. So the success of Sunday service speaks to the larger trend of celebrities embracing religion and spirituality, while Sunday service has staying power in the oversaturated world of Hollywood churches. Only God knows. So we'll have to figure out what you think holler at us in the comments and we'll see you guys next time but otherwise let me know what your thoughts on the situation for me personally i feel like kanye west you know he's always been a little spiritual in his songs and i don't think there's anything wrong with him 
creating a church that allows other people that are famous to actually attend because it does feel judgmental when you go to church. So it's nice that he's actually being uh, admitting that he hasn't went to pastor school, you know, and I don't really think that you really have to if you're going to know, um, you know, definitely the things that you need to say each Sunday, depending on the religion. But everybody knows religion is mad made. I don't have like really any big commentary on this right now, um, just because on this specific network, we try to keep it pretty non-political, non-religious. But I've been given the OK to kind of talk a little bit more about this in depth. So I'll go ahead and do that for a few moments. There's a lot of Christian channels on YouTube that say this is, is <laughs> sacrilegious. Um, you know, and I, I, I don't agree with that. I believe that at one point in my life, I was kind of concerned about what Kanye West said. And, you know, when someone said they're God or whatever, I believe that we're made in the image of God. And I don't find anything wrong with a man using his talents and his position to provide a positive experience. Now, I don't agree with the comments he made about, um, I think that at first I didn't agree with the comments about the slavery with African Americans, which I'll go into that later. Um, his mindset and mentality is kind of something a lot of people think. Um, they think that, you know, we're enslaving ourselves as far as a race by looking backwards and, you know, looking at that. And I think it's very important to know where you came from. I still watch the Roots movies. I still watch all of that. Um, I don't have a problem ultimately with the black man dating a, a woman that is not black. I mean, if he loves her, that's all that matters. And so I think the big issue with a lot of uh, people is the concern that he's, he doesn't identify as a black man. He's going out trying to do religion. Um, and just so that you know, money doesn't have a color. It's green and it's white and it has Benjamins. It's a Benjamin um, <laughs> uh, Franklin on it or whoever the case is donning that bill. And I don't think that it really truly matters when it comes to Kanye, how he sees things, you know. And I think that um, a lot of people just need to understand that, you know, he could do whatever he wants, even if all the channels say he's the devil, he'll still continue to do what he wants to do and I think that we can learn a lot from people like him not just famous people but people that are confident in themselves they don't feel like they have to answer the questions to other people about why they're doing what they're doing and you know who's to say this isn't helping some people but from the most part from what I could tell it just it seems to be like a Hollywood church I wonder what it would be like if I try to get in there I'm a musician can I get in <laughs> so otherwise you guys have a great rest of your day I really appreciate you guys um, you know, for definitely coming and tuning in. We have some more great stories for you guys later with Megan Good's husband. You know, he's totally okay as a pastor, her being in um, the church and also doing sex scenes. And I think that's really cool um, to know that. I kind of want to see what her husband's talking about in his church is because I want to see what kind of person he is. Um, and some, and these are the comments that our people are saying fresh cash so they are getting into church game now lol they seem really christian don't they how stupid can people be apparently very comic cat if there's no praying there's no sermon no word just music and just feeling then it's a concert not church that's what someone else had to say now another comment was you can slap lipstick on a pig and call it a beauty queen but it's still a pig you can make up a religion and say it's christian but it's still false religion now my concern about that question is if religion is mad made and people made it up i'm not saying that it's all made up and god's made up I'm not saying that but if it's all like something that people made according to controlling the masses and otherwise how could it be false religion if everything is kind of like you know made up you know like the you know some people have problems with mormons some people have problems with christians some people have problems with muslims and i've seen from my path of looking at a lot of the different religions is that it's to each its own if that's how you were raised then sometimes that's the religion you take on um and who's to say who's more christian than the other um but at the end of the day it's not religion. I don't think that the person read this. It's not a religion. It's just a gathering of Hollywood people that are just getting together to to feel spiritual. And I, I assume that most people think that you have to have Christian, Muslim.
Mommy got me training well so I could keep on my bike And you would give me anything in this world Michael Jackson left the end of love but didn't give me no curl And you never put no man over me And I love you for that, mommy can't you see Seven years old, caught you with tears in your eyes Cause somebody cheating, telling you lies Then I started to cry as I knelt on the kitchen floor I said, mommy, I'ma love you till you don't hurt no more And when I'm older, you ain't gotta work no more And I'ma get you that mansion that we couldn't afford See your unbreakable Unmistakable, highly capable Lady that's making loot A living legend too Just look at what heaven do Send us an angel And I thank you, mama I wanna scream so loud for you Cause I'm so proud of you and all. What's up everybody? So today I got a chance To uh, go to uh, To uh, Kanye Sunday service First off, it was in the hills of Bethlehem, California. Let me be very, very clear. Now, I'm not posting this because I want some free Yeezys. Now, that might be nice. But this ain't for that. This ain't for free Coachella passes. This ain't for him to remix one of my songs. This ain't for none of that. I'm just gonna keep it a hundred with y'all. That experience was super duper dope. Questions. Is it a cult? No. What name is he lifting up? They said Jesus' name about a million times. No gas. Like, they really just sang songs that just lifted up the name of Jesus or just praised Jesus the whole time. Oh, and if the choir know you said something crazy about him and all that, they will see your face, they will recognize you, and they will most definitely pull. <laughs> I ain't even say nothing about them, they put up on me. But it's real dope.